having grown up and worked on a farm, there were several people that worked on our farm. We had about, not we, but the farm I worked for had about 10,000 acres. We had several uh, people that used to come up from Mexico and work on the farm during the summer. And, and uh, some of them actually stayed and worked uh, in the, in the uh, potato cellars in the winter and stuff. And they were, I got to know them well, they're good people. They just want to work. They just want to improve their lives, their families' lives. And what's wrong with that? Isn't that the reason all of us came to America at some point in time? When it comes to uh, the economy, there are areas of the economy that without an immigrant workforce, we just wouldn't have uh, the capacity to perform. And farm labor is one of those uh, elements. And that's what brought us to work on a bipartisan basis on the Farm Worker Modernization Act. Mr. Speaker, I'm here to speak in support of the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, an event that should be a cause of joy for members on both sides of the aisle and for America. And when you could see the actual facts, I mean, there were compromises made on all sides and that's the necessity when it comes to legislation, but it was based on the facts and not emotion. And that was very, very helpful. Compromise means that you don't get everything you want. Sometimes you give up some things to get things you do want and both sides do that. I could have gone out and pointed out things in this bill that said, oh, that's just not right or whatever, you know, but it's a compromise and that's how it works. Uh, and every successful program that's been done in Congress over the you know last 200 years, if it's successful, it's been a bipartisan effort. This was truly a bipartisan effort. <laughs>